We're not ready yet, Mr. Man. Come on. Let's go for a walkie. We gotta move around. Come on, Ivan. Come on. Hi. Hi, Twinks. Hi, Ivan. Hi, Ivan. Hi, Twinkle. Ginger? What are you doing, Gin? It's me. Quiet. Waldo, enough. Bryson, stop. It's Mama Amy. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm back again. Amy, 100 plus, abandoned dogs, Everglades, Florida. I'm going to wait for some people to jump on before I continue. I will be turning it on me to talk to you directly and tell you what's happening. Um, this is an urgent plea for help. It is urgent. Uh, I'm just showing the babies as I'm outside here at our rescue house in Loxahatchee. Thanks for the clear, everybody. Uh, we have Ivan in the house. We rescued Ivan from the Miami-Dade shelter. Sweetest baby ever. We have Twinkle, who was also rescued from Palm Beach. Hi, baby girl. Hi, sweetheart. Her coat's growing in nicely. Her skin is healing. Um, we have, whoops, we have Boss Man over there roaming. We have Bryson. We have Waldo. And Ginger is around here somewhere. Oh, there she is. There's Ginger. Hi, Ginge. Hi, gorgeous. You're so cute with that shirt on. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Ginger. I know. Isn't it coming in beautiful? She's so beautiful. Imagine somebody came here to adopt Twinkle. Lovely couple. We they She loved them. Um, they were like, oh, my God, what do we have to do? We want her. And everything was all set. Um, and then the next day we got a text. They were concerned from her smell. She has that yeasty smell. Um, while she's healing, and they were concerned about her smell not going away. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Bye. See you later. Yeah, you're not worth. She, you're not worthy of her. Not worthy. So, yeah. This the is other what, ones too. Yesterday. Yesterday too. Same people. They look at her and they're like, oh, what's wrong with her? And they looked at you. <laughs> same thing. Yeah. I can't deal with people. I just can't. These dogs, what they've endured and been through. Tell me, Mama. You know, uh, uh, Ivan's too fat, uh, this one is missing hair, uh, she's missing hair. I, I, people, seriously, seriously. Oh, God, give me strength. Come on, let's go for walks. Come on, let's go. There is a donate button on this video um, asking everybody I, I know. Oh, I almost stepped in that. I didn't even see it. Who made poopy on there? Who did that? Ivan Who made a beautiful poopy on the that's paver? Ivan, right? Ivan, that's you? Well, I don't know. Leave, leave it, Ginger. Back, back, back. back it up. Might be him, you didn't that's a good poop. Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking. So just give me a couple Get seconds, and then I will be updating everything. Get the hose, baby. Uh, remember, Ginger has to go in for surgery um, first week of February. She's uh, going to be going in for blood work. And then Ginger's going in to have all of her mammary tumors removed with a spay surgery. So that's a big surgery. That's in the thousands with Dr. Babeski. And that's our discount. She gives us an amazing discount, and she's the, the best surgeon around. So we're so grateful. Um, she's just been out of, she's been traveling. So we've had a hard time with all of our critical cases lately. We miss her desperately. And it's really frustrating for us, especially when we come up with all these babies that need emergency surgeries and we can't have our best doctor on on hand um so all right with all that being said hi everyone i think we have a good amount of people on here before i start talking so i'm not recapping and having to keep repeating myself okay so uh as you know yesterday um yesterday we i did a video uh, after we rescued Gladys from the Glades and in, in the Everglades, uh, we rescued her after I received an urgent plea from the couple. So I don't want to bore you and keep repeating, um, but I wanted to update you that she's going to be needing to go to our doctor to get x-rays. Definitely something going on with Gladys's gait 
pattern. I don't know what it is um, with either her hips or whatnot, but we will determine that with x-rays and her blood work and everything else. So we'll see what happens. I'm just looking for the remote to turn the TV down. So Ivan's ready to go in already. He's barking at the door. Um, so we're dealing with that. And while that was going on, the rescue, my amazing 100 plus team that pulled together um, to make that, that a, a success rescue. Um, I just want everybody to know that um, it's not one person that makes a rescue uh, a success. It is a team effort. Um, and I'm extremely proud of my amazing 100 plus team that goes for anybody that was there and involved with rescuing Gladys yesterday. Um, it was every single person that was there that brought her to safety. And um, with that being said, with two rescue houses, with a full, full to capacity, our amazing volunteers that stay behind to tend and take care of a full house um, of, of dogs that need attention and feeding and cleaning and medications. So it's a, it's, it's a team effort. It takes a village to do this. Um, hold on guys one second. Okay. And if anybody doesn't want to watch this video, please feel free to jump off. Uh, this is uh, 100 plus and I'm updating you on a couple of things that happened yesterday. I'm also updating you on our dog, Abby Rose. Uh, Abby Rose is a dog that was found on the streets of Miami and um, she had been out there for quite some time. A friend of ours, Christy and Gloria, that also do rescue in the Miami area, uh, had tagged and reached out and I said, yes, we will help and take in Abby Rose. So we did. And she's a middle-aged dog, Abby Rose. She's a little terrier Yorkie mix, um, not spayed, no microchip. We don't know how long she'd been out on the streets. We have no history, uh, no medical history of Abby Rose. So when we take these dogs into our organization, the first thing we do is we make an appointment and have each dog assessed by our veterinarian. So uh, Abby Rose went to VCA Imperial Point Animal Hospital, Dr. Kesha, and he did his you know, standard x-rays, blood work, um, he found that her, she had a hernia that is attached to her liver. So with that being said, he felt that she needed to go in to uh, the 24-hour animal hospital, which we took Abby Rose last night to Coral Springs Animal Hospital, and she spent the night. I received a call this morning, late morning, from the doctor, and my head is still spinning from the information that she gave me. I thought she would, you know, go in last night, they would prep her to have surgery done today to fix the hernia, and while they were under, they would spay her. Um, unfortunately, that's not the case. So it's very, very complicated. Uh, she has multiple things going on right now. My estimate is over six thousand dollars right now at Coral Springs and I gave them a thousand last night just for her to enter the hospital. She, the way the doctor explained it was, we don't know her history. The hernia that is attached to the liver, she's probably lived with that her whole life. For them to go in and to correct that um, would probably do her more damage than good. It could cause her a lot more complications. So the other situation is she has mammary tumors that could be cancer. Um, and if they go in, they could start removing the entire channels, both channels of the mammary tumors. Um, if they come back malignant and it's cancer, um, that's another situation. The biggest problem right now is that she has a nodule, a nodule on her lung. And it's bringing me back to a very, very sad place because mine and Carol's personal dog, Maggie, who was our heart and the love of our life, recently was diagnosed with the lung 
um, nodular and it had to be removed and it was malignant and it was cancer and it was a very aggressive cancer. Um, and she died within a couple of months after we did the surgery to remove her entire lung lobe. So that is our fear with Abby Rose. So right now, what we need to do um, is we're going to start because there's so much going on with Abby Rose. Um, we're going to start with a CT scan, which is $3,000. The CT scan is going to tell us exactly what is going on with the lung if there is a nodule that is cancer. Um, do we go in and remove that if it's malignant? Because we know if it's an aggressive cancer, how much time is she going to have if we put her under this? Then if if the mammary tumors are malignant, what do we do with this? Uh, she's got this hernia that is attached to the liver that they don't want to operate because they're afraid it's going to be worse for her. So we've got multiple things going on, so many things happening with this little dog that we said yes because she was abandoned on the streets of Miami alone. So please understand when a rescue takes in, whether it's a small dog, a medium dog, a large dog, we have no idea what we're walking into. As you see over and over again with the cases that we take in. Um, what if you had it all? Just as Sassy, you know, rescued her $6,000 later with pneumonia and um, bacteria in her lung, fungal in her lung, um, in the hospital since Christmas Day. Today, Sassy was adopted. The video is on the page. Uh, boss is here. Boss is right here. Here he is. Hey, Boss. You want to say hi? Boss is another one. Boss is blind. And Boss went to the eye specialist. And he's going back uh, February 1st to be rechecked with Dr. Carastro. And hopefully the drops are working where he'll be a candidate for one eye for cataract. And that will give him sight in his one eye. Please, dear God. But here's Boss. There's Ivan. And there's Waldo and Bryson on the couch with Uncle Keith. And there's Miss Ginger with her shirt. And there's Twinkle Star playing with Shelly. Tail wagon. We have an amazing, amazing, amazing team of people. Um, we, we sure do. It takes a village, as I say it every time. And I'm so, so grateful to every single one of my team. Um, none of it's possible without everybody. It, it just doesn't happen with one person. It doesn't. So, um, as far as I'm, I'm looking at the comments, as far as you're asking me about Gladys, Gladys, like I said, Gladys was, uh, whether we, we don't know, abandoned, whatever. She was li literally in the middle of freaking nowhere. Um, and she was like living on a pile of sharp, cold rocks. And it was cold the past few nights. So, you know, laying by a body of water that's infested with alligators and pythons, um, there was no getting, she wasn't getting out of there. Animal control wasn't going to do anything. They couldn't do anything, at least what we saw. You saw it in front of your eyes. I'm not bashing anybody. I'm just saying the facts. Um, you know, but regardless, you know, like Carol said, they were very nice. Um, they let us go in there. They opened up the gates. They let us do whatever we wanted to do. They could have told us, no, get out of here. It's a liability. But they let us do our rescue mission. So we are very, very grateful for that. Um, we're grateful to the couple that found her, the boys, um, her, her sons, Bob. Um, we're grateful for them for, for alerting us and caring enough to go back and sit with her that day before we got there. Um, you know, to our amazing team, Jan, leaving her, visiting with her mom and driving back to be part of that mission. And Tammy for, you know, rushing after her dog was having staples removed from a surgery. Thank God it's benign. And then rushing to, you know, bring the trap over and, and drive with Tiffany. Um, and then Carol for on her day off, you know, from driving two hours to get us there and going in and singing to Gladys and, you know, her and Tiffany and the entire team working together to bring her to safety. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Gladys is safe now. 
when I think about what could have been for Gladys out there, um, if we were not able to get her, all I can say is we slept really, 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 really good last night, um, knowing she was safe and off of those rocks and away from that water infested with gators. So for us, we are so grateful for that. And I'm so grateful for all of you uh, for making a contribution so that we can get Gladys what she needs. She's going to need radiographs. We don't know what's going on with her, but we'll know once we do the testing. You know, we'll find out. Um, she slept amazing last night. She barely moved off of her bed. She's eating. Um, Abby Rose is the one right now that needs your help the most, to be honest with you, uh, because of the astronomical bill that I have in front of me. I will post it gladly for you. Uh, it's well into, like I said, the CT scan is to start at 3,000. Um, the surgery with the estimate and everything involved is between six and 8,000 right now. So we, I have to make a decision. I don't know what it's going to be pending what the results come back from her CT scan. So that's where we stand with poor Abby Rose. And, you know, my, my team of volunteers at Rescue House One in Broward that have I've already fallen in love with Abby Rose because she's been there in a room and, and they tend and take care of her. Um, they're heartbroken. They're like, oh, my God, Amy, please don't say this is so. She's the sweetest baby. It's so unfair. And they're right. It is so unfair. So, you know, we're going to do whatever we can do to help her. We are going to do whatever we can to help her. But again, you know, we've had major medical bills, and they're still there and climbing. I'm still trying to pay off. Um, the new little dog that Dr. Trow from Axis reached out to me, um, begging for my help that the owners surrendered and they didn't want their dog, uh, little tiny, the six-pound chihuahua, um, you know, she told me that, Amy, it shouldn't be much, you know, maybe $2,000. i am already at $4,000 for little tiny the little chihuahua that we took in because her owners didn't want to be bothered with her and spend the money. They said to euthanize her. She is improving. Um, she does need a blood transfusion, so they're going to do that today. That's about $300. Um, that's probably the lowest bill that I have right now. <clears throat> and then, um, like I said, her bill is at 4000 That's Tiny the Chihuahua, who's still at Access 24-hour animal hospital under the care of Dr. Trow. Uh, but Abby Rose is the one that needs you the most. So there's 500 people on here. There's $150 raised right now. I, I need to come up with this money to, to try to save Abby Rose. I, I have nowhere else to turn, and I have nobody else to ask to help save this dog. Um, I was not expecting this. Like I said, I will gladly post the estimate that was sent to me this morning from Coral Springs. But to move forward with Abby Rose. Right now it's $3,000 for the T-scan to get a diagnostic to see where we go from there. So I'm asking at least to help me cover this bill um, of the 3000 Again, 4000 for Tiny, who's fighting for her little life at two years of age, Chihuahua, six pounds. I mean, seriously, were we going to say no, let her die? I, I, I can't. We can't. We can't as a team. So whatever you guys can contribute i um, so grateful. We, 100 plus, are so, so very grateful um, for any amount that you could donate towards Abby Rose and trying to save her life. She deserves it. She deserves it. Um, if you can't financially donate, it's, I understand. A um, dollar, two dollars, if anybody can donate something, it will add up with that many people watching and supporting. So all I can do is ask and I don't have any pride. I don't have any pride. Zero, to be quite honest with you, when it comes to these babies that are depending on us for, for saving their life. I mean, how do you even put a price tag on, on a life? You can't. Um, so, again, I'm asking everybody to find it in your heart, whether you want to mail a donation, PayPal it through Facebook, Network for Good, Venmo, uh, whatever you can do. I, I say thank you to helping us save um, Abby Rose. And I'll keep you posted. Hopefully, I believe the CT scan is going to take place today. They were getting her ready. Uh, thank you, Lisa, for your donation. They were getting um, Abby Rose ready for her their CT scan uh, to see exactly what's going on with the lung and if it is um, cancer. Thank you, Karen, 
for your donation. Thank you so very much. So, you know, we can sit here and I can say, you know what? No more dogs. I'm not taking in any more dogs. Mario's bill is astronomical. He's going back in um, to decide if he's going to have his side as our treatment. Um, we're trying to get him to regain, um, you know, his right side of his face that's paralyzed in his good eye. Um, every every single one of these dogs, every single one. Shelly's dog, our dog, Shelly's dog is our dog. She's our heart princess. She's still in the hospital. She's still in the hospital. Um, she came back, she was released, and she was vomiting everywhere. Uh, that's princess. She's actually going in. Uh, tomorrow to Dr. Cannon. We're going to be transporting her from Access to Blue Pearl, and she's having another scope done because she's not improving. She's not improving. Um, and she's been at Access now. Shelly, how long has Prinny been at Access since this time you brought her back? Sunday night. Sunday night. Shelly was up all night long, and I think at like 1 in the morning she called me, um, and she was hysterical, her and Keith, and they rushed her back in, and she's been there since Sunday. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow, she'll be transported to Blue Pearl for a scope. You can only imagine what her vet bill has been. Yeah, close to 10 grand. Okay. Where you going, Balt? <laughs> Balto is uh, very busy. Very busy running around. Balto? Balto? Hey. Hi, handsome. Can I say hi? Everybody needs a little Balto love to cheer us up. We certainly do. Oh, he's very... Look at him go. Yeah, he's busy. Shelly's running around. Yeah, he's busy. Oh, so, as you can imagine, guys, the stress level for all of us here. Um, the stress... He went right back in the room. The stress level is oh, through the roof know. with so many criticals and our babies. This is what rescue... This is what rescue is. It's very, very emotional. And very hard on the heart. Extremely hard on the heart. But, again, I'm doing this video to update everybody um, and to thank everybody uh, for your love and your ongoing support. Like I said, I wanted to say a special thank you to my entire team um, for bringing Gladys into safety. And, um, you know, in rescue, there's no me, 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 I, I, I. It's us. It's a team effort. And, um, again, I wanted to update everybody on Abby Rose and what's going on. So... Um, Abby Rose will be going in for her CT scan uh, today and I will be updating once I get the results from Coral Springs Animal Hospital and praying, praying, praying to God that it's not cancer thank you Ray Ray for your donation oh God alright so with all this being said um, I have more things to tend to, as you can imagine. Uh, I need to call the hospital and see what's happening. And um, here's Binky. Here's our Binky, still waiting years later for a home. Thank you, Ann Peterson, for your donation so very much. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll update you as soon as I have any information on Abby Rose, um, on, on Gladys. Um, but for right now, this is what I've got. This is what I've got. I do have um, some happy coming up this afternoon, which I will bring you all along with me. Um, it should be happening within the next hour or so. But we do have another happy announcement adoption in the house um, that I will be coming live shortly, uh, within the next hour, I would say. And um, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's it in a nutshell. A lot happening. It's it's weighing. It's heavy. It's very heavy on the heart. You know, you try to stay positive and keep pushing and keep pushing, but sometimes it just gets you. It gets you. So, again, thank you in advance for your love, your ongoing support for our ongoing mission. Um, to all of our wonderful supporters, you're our family, you're our friends, and to our amazing 100-plus team, every single one of you. None of this would be possible without everyone. It takes a village. So I'm going to sign off for now. And thank you, Patty. Thank you so much for your donation. Um, I will update you just as soon as I have any more information on Abby Rose. Please say your prayers for her. Thank you, Susan Grossman. And um, again, I will be coming live within the hour for an adoption. So 
it's like I said, you know, it's an emotional roller coaster. It's literally, you know, happy, sassy, down Abbey Rose, princess, you know, and just happy Gladys is safe and adoption and then down again we go. So thank you so much, LaVon. Thank you for your donation. You guys are the best. You guys are just amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Can't do it without you. Can't. Thank you, Karen, for your donation. Thank you so very much. And please, I'm begging of you, not only keeping Abby Rose. Thank you, Joetta. Thank you for your donation. And Barbara, thank you. Thank you. You guys are really pulling through for Abby. I really appreciate it so very much. Um, I am asking one big thing. Please, and I mean it. Please say a prayer for Princess. Princess is the heart of 100 plus, and she needs your love and your prayers right now, along with Abby Rose. Please, these are two of our babies, along with Mario, three of our babies, right this minute as I speak to you. These babies, thank you, Pam Martin, for your donation. Um, these are the babies that need our prayers, our love and our prayers, right this very second. Please. It's oh, a lot. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right. I'm going to sign off again. Much love. So much respect. So grateful. And we'll be back up and running soon. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Thank you.